Hi, so today I'm back to make you another tutorial. We're gonna make some nails for myself. I've already put the base colors on them. We're gonna go with black and pink again. This is my nail set that I have on now. I had several people asking me to show how I did the bondage nail thing, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and some other stuff that you can watch if you're interested. My nails look god awful. They've been on for two weeks. And honestly, it kind of sucks because I started doing nails for myself so that I could have beautiful nails without having to pay for it. And then I ended up doing it as a job for other people and in return that destroys my nails. So kind of defeats the purpose, but it's fine. Yeah, I feel like these nails look cute as is, but we're definitely going to add a bunch of art to them. So let's just get started. Oh yeah, before I start, look, I put lights in my background. <laughs> looks great i just it feels like it's more interesting to look at so i did it okay so i'm gonna use this rhinestone gel and just put a dollop in the center of this nail this nail is very curved i like to use um sculpted nails for myself because i apply them with acrylic so i can do that normally whenever i make press-ons for people i use way flatter nails because they usually use glue so they have to be flatter but um so this is a what is this isn't this like a little ring clamp thing for necklaces i don't know i don't even know where i got it but i'm gonna try to find it link it in the description i'm pretty sure it was on like amazon maybe she and i don't know but this is what um they came in normally i use the silver i've never used the gold before that's why i was like you know what? let's switch it up now before i go in and make the straps i'm gonna put builder gel on this and build it up all around this little guy to help hold him on this is what I do when I put any gems on a nail. I put builder gel all the way around them so that they are really stuck in place. And then I usually put top coat on top of them and in between them. <laughs> they don't look as crisp, I feel like, or as nice, but they won't fall off as easy compared to when you just like stick them on with glue and that's all. I'm also gonna fill the center with builder gel. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer before I start painting. Okay, I'm going to use white and just draw my strappies. This is honestly hard and annoying because I feel like they don't always look perfectly straight or centered. Okay, I'm going to go over these white straps and make them pink so they match the rest of the nails. I'm using two Beatles nail polishes from Amazon. Um, people ask me like what brand I use a lot, and I use any brand. I don't discriminate, but I definitely use cheap brands the most. <laughs> I prefer Born Pretty, but when I order from their website, it takes quite a while to arrive. But I love a lot of their gel polishes, and they're really cheap. Okay, this is definitely going to need another layer of pink, but it's cute. I probably could have used a pink one of those fucking little clasps and that would have looked really nice too, but I didn't. So we're sticking with gold. <laughs> we're going to live our best life with a yellow fucking clasp. Okay, I finished the strappy nail. Um, so now I'm going to take this metallic gel polish. This is from Born Pretty. Uh, love it. But I see people use it a lot, like, on top of the nail. And I've done that before, like, using it on top of the top coat. But I did realize it's, like, really thick and hard to penetrate through. So it could be, like, mushy and come off easily if you do that. So I usually try to always encapsulate it inside of the top coat. So I'm going to just make some little tiny dots, if I can, right here. This is very stringy, so be careful. Does anybody else love the smell of alcohol? <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me or if they like change the smell of alcohol because I never thought that before. Um, and then recently, for some reason, I started being like, damn, why does that smell so good? It's kind of like gasoline to me now. <laughs> it's very weird. And I was like, why do I all of a sudden think this? And then my daughter came in and she like had some on a wipe and was smelling it. And she was like... <sighs> And I was like, do you think that smells good? Because so do I, and I don't know why, because I never thought that before, and I'm scared. <laughs> okay, that looks good enough. Oh, cure it. For the next nail, I'm going to do one of them star 
circle things. <laughs> I did it in a different nail set and I loved it. It was so cute. So I'm going to put on my own set. What's it called? Like a pentagram? So I'm just going to draw a big old circle. Okay, now I'm going to draw the star. Oh, I'm so shaky. Okay, now I'm just going to like add this dark pink shadow around this star. I feel like it makes it look really pretty. I'm going to go over the black lines and then just go back and fix them up. Okay, and now I'm going to do a checkered nail. It's pretty self-explanatory, but... All you do is draw lines <laughs> and then fill them in. Definitely, if you have trouble doing this, which I did at first too, get a brush that looks like this. This bad boy, this really long boy. It will make the lines so much easier to draw. Um, now I don't really need it, but it it's definitely helpful. I got that from Enel Couture in a kit of brushes. I try to do these very thin. Usually do two lines like that and then try to do one in the center. And then just decide how big I want the squares to be. And try to follow that down. This might look weird on a stiletto, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, for the next nail, I'm going to do this little flower thing that I did the other day on a different set of nails and I really liked it and it was like a flower with stars in it and I want it on my fingernail. I really want my glasses closer but my eyelashes are too big. Okay. So I'm just going to draw like a half circle. This don't have to be perfect because I'm going to fill it in like a coloring book and then go back around the black outline. Honestly, <laughs> doing art on these nails it's kind of difficult because they're so fucking curved I can't even see the other half of the nail while I'm painting. I'm just going to color in his petals. I don't know what color to make his center, but... Hmm. Huh. Maybe leave it white? I don't know. So I'm gonna do mm, I'm gonna do the outline first actually before I do the stars. But today I was outside coloring with chalk with my child. Um and I tried to draw like a giant sun thing. Like really big. Oh my god. It was such a workout. I have so much more respect for the people that I watch on like Facebook that draw giant chalk art because wow. <laughs> I was like, thank God that my art requires me to sit in a chair and barely move my arm because I can't. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to make some little tiny stars inside of the flower because I feel like it looks really cute. Oh my God, there's a hair. All I'm doing is little tiny plus signs. Sometimes I do stars that are like a dot, but that's more work and this still looks just as cute. Are these nails perfect? No, but they're for me, so I don't care. I am so not a perfectionist when it comes to pretty much anything that I do. But when I'm doing something for someone else, <laughs> then I'm just full of anxiety that it has to be perfect. And I, it stresses me out. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, now I'm also going to do a little quick flame nail. Pretty simple. Um, normally I make my flame skinnier than I'm going to make this one. But for this style, I like this one. So I just start by making a line like that. And then I do this. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Honestly, explaining nail art is so weird. <laughs> I feel like it's like you watch it and you learn it. I don't know how to explain too much. So then I just kind of start up here. Make it fatter down here. Try to make them even on both sides. And then bring it down like this. Okay, now I'm going to do that same pink outline on the flame that I did on the star. Wow, really didn't come all the way to the side there, did I? <laughs> By the way, the best black that I have found that is actually two coat black, because <laughs> a lot of them say that they are, and they're definitely not. It's from the brand T-I-T-I-M-K-U-P on Amazon. <laughs> Very random, found it, tried it, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? This is the best black ever. You have to do it very thin to make sure it cures, but even then you only need two layers. It's great. I don't really like the white that it comes with, but I use it anyway because I was buying it in like a two-pack. They might have singles now, but I think at first they didn't. Ah! How dare you? Okay, now for the other nails. Um, the thumbs and the pinkies. I'm going to do something similar to what's on this nail, which I already showed a tutorial on how to do that in my last video. But yeah, I'm just going to put a bunch of little stars everywhere. Okay, so the nails are finally done. Honestly, love them. The only thing I question is the gold ringlet thingy, but you know, that's okay. It definitely would have been better if it was pink, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want any more tutorials, let me know what you want to see. I'll be back with more videos possibly soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!